There was a pig, piggy, piggy, pig, pig. He was so big, biggy, biggy, big, big. He wore a wig, 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 wig. He ate a fig, 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 fig. Good morning, little children. Today is activity time. And you know what we are going to make today? We will be making a pig. We will learn how to draw a pig. Pig. Let's begin. For making a pig, we will be needing a white plain sheet, a pencil, one thick marker, one thin marker and two color crayons, one pink color and one orange or peach color, whichever you have. An eraser and I have also taken two circular shaped objects. See, I have taken a small cover which is a small circle and a big plate. This is a big circle. You can also use any two circle shapes that you have, but one should be small and the other should be big. So let's begin making a pig. Children, now we will trace a big circle with the help of this plate, the big plate. See? Just trace outside till you come to this side like this. The bigger circle has been made. Now we come to the second circle, the smaller circle. For the small circle, we will keep this like I've kept it. Can you see? Again, we will trace. It is not completely in the center, but little below. Again, we'll make a small circle with the help of this cover. Oh yes, this is complete. Did you see? Now comes the eyes. For the eyes, we will again make two circles. One here and another here. Round, round circle. And small circles, one here, one here. Again, a small circle, one here and one here. Now, for the nose, we will make an oval shape. Children, this is called a snout. It is the snout. The nose is called its snout. We've made an oval. Can you see an oval? And now, again here, we'll make two circles. One here and another here. Now, comes the ears. For the ears, first we'll make two triangles. See? One triangle like this. And after making this triangle, we will join it like this. Same we'll do here again. Make a triangle first and then join them like this for the ears. Now let's make it stale. Children, you all know how to write number 6. So here we'll write number 6 first and then turn it down like this. Oh yes, the tail is ready. The curly curly tail of a pig. Now comes its legs. For legs, we'll be making one slanting line, two slanting line and three slanting line. Again, one slanting line, two slanting line and three slanting line. After making the slanting lines, we'll join from here to here. And again, bring it a little down and from here to here. Same for this place. First one should be a little bigger than the second one. Oh yes, our pig is almost ready. Let's make, see, like this. To complete its legs. So, 
Our pig is ready. Now we need to color it. Children, now we will first mark its outline with a marker. Let's begin. See, I'm just marking. See, children, we have completed making its outline. And here, these open spaces left near the eyes, we will cover with black marker, leaving the two circles behind. See, like this. So, our eyes are complete. And here again, we will color only these things. See, our outline is complete. Now let's start coloring. First, we will take orange color and color here. See, in one direction children, always try to cover color it in one direction, just like this. See, this is complete. Now here again, in one direction we will color. Just like this. This is complete. And now we will take pink color and color the leftover things here. Again children, always go in one direction because now this is a circle. So we will color in a circular movement. See how ma'am is coloring. This will help you in coloring better and neatly. First just color the outline like ma'am. See, ma'am is coloring the outline first we will just color its outline this will make your coloring easy and pretty too see i've just colored its outline first and now we will go in circular movement like this only see in circular movement i have made in circular movement see children i'm making just circular strokes. See children, I've colored pink. Yes, now I have left this because I will use again orange color for the snout, for the nose. See, like this. Again see, I am also making the strokes oval in shape, just like the snout. See, the snout is complete too. Now for this tail, we will just do an outline with the pink color. Just like this. This curly curly tail. Our pig is ready. Now children, we will take the thin black marker that we have and I know you remember your egg words, the egg words that we had done. Do you remember children? So here we'll write a big pig. Let's begin. First we'll write a. For a we'll be writing like this. See? Uh, then leave two finger space and write big, a uh, big, big, again two fingers and write big, Puh. and egg, big. A big pig. How did you like it? So this is a big pig. A b and egg. Big p and egg. Pig. A big pig. And what does a pig do? Pig says wank, wank, wank. Wank, wank, wank. And the baby of a pig is called a Piglet! Bye-bye! Wank, wank, wank!